the, so get all the pieces that built that we can here and then uh, ship it. This is the poop deck for the Flying Dutchman. I'm sculpting, foam, as usual. A modified welder, runs 110 current, heats up the wire and the wire burns the foam. Stinky but effective. What it does is it, it gives you this look here. Anything that has to do with the full-on sculpting, the foam and clay, whatever, we, we uh, sculpt it out full size. It sculpts differently than the bead foam and then it sculpts differently than uh, two-pound urethane. It's called uh, VersaFoam. You spray it on and then you can sculpt that uh, into a, um, to various shapes. Then after that, just a, a, a spray of a cement uh, product, and then that uh, strengthens it for the, you know, the shoot. Each time a piece was ready to be delivered to the Bahamas, we sent the foreman along with that, and they were able to, you know, to arrive here and help assemble those pieces on it. So here comes the lower half of the ship, and what's, what's going to happen now is they'll swing the upper part of the ship around to hover over it. They'll pull this guy right out under it, drop it down, marry the two together. They're estimating the weight of this piece here at 50 tons, but we're not really sure yet. The crane will tell us, though. It has a computer inside that'll measure exactly the weight. We've got just a layer upon layer of elements, and one of the things I think that we were successful at is making it feel like a boat that's not of this world. It's a lot of uh, nautical motifs tied up into one thing just to create a very mysterious, threatening, menacing looking ship. Well, the full-size set piece that was built for the Flying Dutchman, uh, very detailed, nice set piece, but it is not complete. It's built up to uh, about 40 feet above the deck, so any wide shots uh, need to have the mass extended higher. Um, one side of the hull is, was not built, so there are a couple of shots where we're extending the side of the hull. So we decided that uh, the Dutchman had to be CG for shots like that. But the main reason to build a uh, CG model for that is the breaching shots. So there are shots where uh, the, the Dutchman travels underwater uh, like a submarine. And then comes you know, bursting forth to the surface. That's our match move grid that shows you the wireframe so we can track in all the splashes onto the ship. The splashes coming out on the sides were, some of them were practical. Some of them were specifically shot for the shot. This is a quarter scale version of the Flying Dutchman um, that we will yank out of the water and create splashes for ILM to use in a composite where they'll take either a CGI or a model Flying Dutchman, kind of place it under the splash. a bunch of doodads and stuff on the outside to create more water interaction, sort of interesting shapes. If you look at it, just imagine that the object itself dis disappears and you're just seeing the water that it displaces and the water that sort of uh, sheds off of it. 
typically that's that's the difficulty with water is getting the, the blend between a, any live plate or in this case I, I think they did a really good job basically taking all these passes and balancing them together to, to make you believe that this ship is going to fit into this shot. 